in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen welcome to divyamani tv viewers for the program of the word of god Matthew's Gospel, chapter five, or six. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. My dear faithful in Jesus Christ, let us bow our heads and pray for God's blessings. Almighty and our living God. thank you for nurturing us in your presence thank you lord for being with us in our daily lives lord as we contemplate upon your word of god enlighten our minds and our hearts shower upon us your gifts and fruits of the holy spirit lord bless me abundantly as i proclaim your good news to the people lord bless all the people who hear this good news lord bless all these people who are watching this divyavani tv channel lord bless all the people abundantly so that we may live according to your word and apply it in our daily lives we make this prayer through christ our lord amen my dear faithful in jesus christ in the last four episodes we have been contemplating upon the introduction to beatitudes the first beatitude second beatitude third beatitude today if we are reflecting about the fourth beatitude that jesus christ told to his disciples we see the fourth beatitude in matthew's gospel chapter 5 verse 6 blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness for they will be filled yes my dear faithful in jesus christ we need to understand firstly what is hunger and this what is the meaning of thirst we know very well human being in order to survive for a human being in order to exist these two aspects are very important these two aspects are part and parcel of human beings life hunger and thirst if we live in this world however the riches we acquire however the property we gain how much the amount we earn everything is to fill our stomach that is physically and bodily we fill our stomach physically and bodily as we live in this world if there is any drought surely we will lose the kind of food we will lose kind of water there will be a starvation for food and water because in order to exist and survive for a human being these things are absolutely necessary these things are indispensable for a human being's life that's why my dear faithful in jesus christ here we need to understand in a deeper way water and 
hunger is provided physically today for our life but what about spiritual life the spiritual life blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness they for they will be filled here we understand not in a physical way not in a bodily way but we do here understand spiritual understanding today for our body in order to survive what and hunger the food and water is provided but what about our soul what about our soul which kind of food are you providing for your soul we are very happy as we live in this modern techno savvy era as we experience and enjoy the pleasures of the world the things of this world we are happy we are so much involved in this world and we are happy regarding this world in a physical way in a periphery way but what about our spiritual life here we need to understand in a deeper way why jesus christ told to his disciples the fourth beatitude blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness for they will be filled here jesus is referring to a spiritual hunger and thirst we need to search for spiritual hunger and thirst today human beings life these human beings do not crave do not yearn for spiritual life there is no spiritual hunger and thirst most of the times in our lives we are so much involved in this pleasures of this world as we experience and live in this world we give an utmost importance to the things of this world but we are not giving importance we are not giving an utmost significance to godly things spiritual things which are permanent which are everlasting which will take us to the realms of heaven but we give an utmost importance we give a special significance to which are temporary which are temporary we give lot of importance the things of this world my dear faith brethren jesus christ the things of this world will not save us these things will be perishable these things will be temporary but but the spiritual things following jesus christ the heavenly things the spiritual aspects will pave the way for heaven these spiritual activities will enable us to look for heaven to have an eternal bliss in our lives that's why my dear faith brethren jesus christ jesus always emphasizes the kingdom values this kingdom values if we follow this kingdom values surely we will attain the salvation surely god will give us the salvation salvation is with us we need to move towards the salvation that we need to understand my dear faith in jesus christ the things and the riches of this world will not give us a salvation but jesus christ when we follow jesus christ whole heartedly he will give us the power he will give us the strength to go ahead and attain the salvation let us have a small break in the word of god program
back to Word of God program. My dear faith in Jesus Christ, we need to understand Jesus always gives an importance to kingdom values. We see Matthew's Gospel, chapter 6, verse 33. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Remember, my dear faith in Jesus Christ, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. As St. Paul writes related to Romans chapter 6 verse, eight, verse 18, there we see, Now you are free from slavery to sin, and you have become slaves to righteous living. My dear faith in Jesus Christ, we need to give an significance and at most importance a vital role to have the kingdom, to attain the salvation. We need to give importance to the kingdom values. When we give importance to the kingdom values and the godly things, surely God will help us. Surely God will be always with us in order to attain the salvation. He will pave the way for righteous living. He will pave the way for eternal beatitude. That's why, my dear faithful in Jesus Christ, now you are free from slavery to sin and you have become slaves to righteous living. Human being must be a righteous person. Human being must be a righteous person, a righteousness that is understandable in a social righteousness, legal righteousness, my dear faithful in Jesus Christ, spiritual righteousness. We need to be always give an utmost importance to spiritual activities that will lead us to the heavenly things. My dear faithful, in Jesus Christ. Isaiah chapter 55 verse 1 to 2, there we see, Come all you who are thirsty, come to the waters, and you who have no money, come buy and eat. You will delight in the richest of fair. Yes, my dear faithful in Jesus Christ. And we need to understand, we need to come to the presence of the Lord. As we crave for these holy things, as we look for these holy things, which are perishable, which are temporary, we, we involve so much in these holy pleasures. Today, Jesus Christ is welcoming and inviting each and every one of us to step into the spiritual aspects which are everlasting, which are permanent, which are leading us to God. Yes, today it is an eye opening to each and every, every one of us. Today we need to introspect and examine ourselves. Where do I stand in my spiritual life? Where do I stand in my spiritual life? Am I ready enough to serve the Lord wholeheartedly? Am I ready enough to follow according to God's will? Do you know my dear faithful Jesus Christ? To hunger, thirst for righteousness, if we understand deeply, means God's rule in our lives. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness for they shall be filled. It means 
we need to seek and we need to search for god's rule in our lives not human beings rule see human beings rule only for selfish activities human beings rule for their own purposes in order to fill their own stomach in order to have property most of the times like this but god's rule when we have this god's rule in our lives surely god will give us plentifully god will bless us abundantly the riches the wealth the property the power surely god will give us because we are giving an utmost importance to god we are giving first priority to god because god is the primordial person who will give us the salvation who will take us to the realm of heavenly things which are everlasting because we need to be with the god god is the elixir elixir of all our lives human beings may with us for some time human beings are with us only for temporary time if we how if we are good enough they will be with you if we have riches if we have property if you have power human beings will come to you because they are not coming to you by your character they are not coming to you because of your goodness they are coming to you because you have riches you have wealth you have power when you do not have power when you do not have riches when you do not have all these things nobody will come to you yes my dear faithful in jesus christ nobody will come to you only few people will come because they are your friends because they are they or your spiritual well be well wishers those who seek your development those who seek your growth that's way my dear faithful in jesus christ god is there always he is seeking your growth god is there always he is seeking for your development god is there always he is seeking for the well being of your growth and development human beings will not seek for one's growth and development unless they have some expectations from the other person that's why my dear faith in jesus christ today you consciously and deliberately make the choice today you should be able to make the correct decision in order to follow the lord matthew's gospel chapter 16 verse 24 there we see if anybody wants to follow me let him deny himself take up his cross and follow me today are you ready enough to deny yourself are you ready enough to take up his cross are you ready enough to imitate him to follow him wholeheartedly my dear faithful in jesus christ it is very easy to say i follow jesus i imitate jesus i follow commandments rather it is very very difficult to follow jesus do you know it is not easy to follow jesus it is very difficult to follow jesus if anybody wants to follow me let him deny yourself you should deny yourself it is not easy to deny yourself you should deny yourselves take up your cross you take up your cross because life is not the bed of roses it is joys and sorrows it is very difficult you need to undergo many trials and tribulations we need to face many consequences as we go into our lives it is not easy to follow jesus wholeheartedly because there will be lot of attractions because there will be lot of temptations that will come across in our lives that's why my dear faithful in jesus christ today as jesus christ told his disciples to follow these eight beatitudes today god is telling each and every one of us to follow the fourth beatitude blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness 
for they shall be filled pray whom are you looking remember we need to search we need to have thirst we need to have hunger for spiritual things blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness today we need to live a holy life today we need to live a righteous life today we need to live a good life in order to follow jesus in order to serve jesus in order to be with jesus as we contemplate and reflect upon the fourth beatitude let us take some resolutions today let us introspect ourselves deeply lord i want to be with you always in my life i want to follow you wholeheartedly in my life as we reflect over we make a strong and deliberate decision in order to be with jesus always and to attain the salvation in our lives may almighty god bless all of us amen